Hallelujah. God bless in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. People are going to slander you. People are going to say things about you. Hallelujah. And you have to eat that up. You have to eat it up and don't let what they say get you offended. Hallelujah. Don't let the offended offend you. When you get hot for Jesus, when you get a light burning in your heart for Jesus, the light attracts the fight. Hallelujah. That's the word today. The light attracts the fight. When you begin to burn like a torch for Jesus, hallelujah, the light attracts the fight. You're going to be persecuted. You're going to be slandered. Hallelujah. You're going to be crucified with Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that a disciple is not above his master. And a disciple that is perfectly trained will be like his master. Hallelujah. They slandered our Lord. They persecuted our Lord. Hallelujah. They're going to persecute you. And you have to eat this up. Hallelujah. You have to be crucified with Christ. Like Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ. And it's not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Hallelujah. The light attracts the fight. Hallelujah. The world is going to persecute you. The world is going to fight against you. Hallelujah. These false religious people, they're going to be offended at you. People live in offense. Hallelujah. Don't let the offended offend you. The devil wants you to be offended like these offended people. Hallelujah. And you have to eat this up. Hallelujah. The Bible says you're blessed when people persecute you because you are committed to Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says you're blessed. That means happy of heart. So we should shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed means happy of heart. People are going to persecute you. People are going to slander you. Hallelujah. You just got to eat it up. And don't let what they say offend you. Hallelujah. People are not committed to Jesus. And they see you committed to Jesus. They see you. You have a torch burning in your heart for Jesus. And that torch burns their flesh. It irritates them. It agitates them. They get agitated when they see you. They get agitated when they hear you preaching. Hallelujah. Because you got a torch burning for Jesus. Hallelujah. And the fire scorches them. And what I mean by that is they get irritated in their flesh. They live in a fence. So they get irritated at people who are committed to Jesus. They're not saved. Hallelujah. Some people got a religious face mask on. They play the Christian part, but they don't have the Christian heart. Hallelujah. And they will slander the ones that are committed to Jesus. Hallelujah. They will persecute the ones that are committed to Jesus. Hallelujah. And you just have to keep yourself encouraged. Jesus already said this would happen. Jesus said that you will be hated for him. Hallelujah. Jesus said the world will hate you. Hallelujah. The light attracts the fight. Who cares what these people say? Hallelujah. Who cares if they slander you? Hallelujah. You have to die to what men think about you. You have to die to what the religious people say. You have to die to what the world thinks about you. Hallelujah. And when you die to what people think about you, that's when you come alive in Jesus. Hallelujah. They hated Jesus. They're going to hate you. Hallelujah. You just got to keep your heart and not get offended like these people are offended. People get offended and they live in bitterness. Hallelujah. You have to keep yourself from being bitter like these bitter people. Hallelujah. The devil wants to use these bitter people 
to get you bitter. And you have to see this. You have to see that the devil is working through people to get you bitter. And you have to just shake it off and say, praise God, hallelujah. I'm going go, to keep preaching God's word. I'm going to keep doing the work of the Lord. I'm going to pray for these people. These people are hurt. They need to be saved. Hallelujah. You have to keep your heart from that root of bitterness getting inside of you. Hallelujah. You have to keep yourself in that secret place of prayer with God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty God. Hallelujah. And that shadow is a shadow of protection. That shadow is a shadow of God's protection. When you dwell in that secret place of prayer, God will protect you. Your heart will be protected from getting bitter like these bitter people. Hallelujah. You have to keep your heart. And when you dwell in that secret place of prayer, it regulates your heart in the love of God. And it keeps your heart from getting that root of bitterness inside of it. Hallelujah. Inside of you. Praise God. The light attracts the fight. So when you get a torch burning in your heart for Jesus, don't think it's strange when people start to persecute you. Don't think it's strange when people start to slander you. Don't think it's strange when people gossip about you and they don't like you. Hallelujah. Don't think it's strange. The light attracts the fight. Hallelujah. When you get a torch burning in your heart for Jesus, you're going to get persecuted. The religious people are going to come. Oh, they are going to be offended at you. Hallelujah. You just be faithful to God. Keep your heart. Hallelujah. Endure afflictions. Hallelujah. You're going to be crucified with the Lord. You're going to be crucified with slander. Hallelujah. They're going to crucify you. They're going to say crucify them. They're going to want to nail you to the cross. Hallelujah. Spiritually speaking. With just persecutions and attacks to hurt you, to offend you. Hallelujah. The Bible says many will be offended and will betray one another and hate one another. Hallelujah. Keep your heart. In the love of God. Don't get offended like these offended people. Don't let the offended offend you. The light attracts the fight. Hallelujah. Be blessed. In Jesus mighty name.